Hey, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I cased this card out of the catalogue. Um, this card is made by the stamp set Home and Garden. And I'm going to be using the uh, ladder, rake, spade and shears, cutting shears. And also the sentiment to the man who can do ooh, anything. I've just dropped a dolly. So I want to the man who can do anything. As you can see, I haven't got none of the stamps out. This one can go on there. and rake now the dies I'll need is the ladder the rake the shears the spade the plank of wood and the hangers them over there. Right, I've got a card base, right, card. Now I have done this in a 5x7, due to the fact I need some mail cards, personal cards. So um, yeah, I've done this in 5x7. So I've got here 10 inches by 7 inches, scored up 5 inches, folded in half. Move that. I've got piece of basic black at four, I think it's four and three quarters, I oh, know, four and seven eighths by five, uh, by six and seven eighths, but that is too long, too wide. So I need to chop off a little bit of this. It's too wide. That's better. That should measure four and seven eighths. Yep. Four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Sorry about that. That means this bit might be too wide. I've got a piece of the DSP, um, God, can't remember what it's called, there it is, in good taste, the DSP, it was carried over from last year's catalogue, I need to take a tiny bit off of this as well. So that should be four and a half, yep, by six and a half, yep, four and a half by six and a half, and that will go on there like that, that's rubbish, don't need that. I've also got a scrap of white for stamping, a scrap of crumb cake for the plank of wood across the other side and some black for the little hanging uh, these things hang your tools on with them but I still need two more right let's stick this down 
Oh, and I've got a scrap of red for the sentiment. Dry glue over the nozzle. This on the base of the card. Uh, I have not got um, a piece of white cup for the inside yet, but I will put a piece of white in the inside. Right, I'll put that to one side. And we'll get on with our stamping. Let's put the lid on this. So, I need to stamp these, colour them, and then cut them out. So, ladder. Right. Spade and shears. Just need some uh, blends. Oh, I've got real red and crumb cake and smoky slate. That's all we need. Crumb cake is for our ladder. Because we've got wooden ladders. brush bits quicker. I can say that because um, this is a new pen. Right, I was did a colour grey. No, crumb cake. Nothing. Smoky slate, coloured uh, this the shovel. Uh, 
and real red we covered the handles This handle should have been a different colour, or well, this part of it, but never mind. That's all our quick colouring done. Put them away there. Now what we've got to do is cut these out. So I forgot to get out. Oh no, never. Thought I forgot to get out the plank of wood. But I didn't. So just cut all these out. Cut these two out first. Sorry, you're getting rattled. There's one ladder. Rubbish. A rake. Right. Spade out next. Just cut that paper down a bit so that I can get it in there. piece of um, crumb cake for the plank of wood and 
piece of black for the hanging. Which will go on there. And then that will be all our die cutting. There's my plank of wood. It's even embossed. I don't think you can see it. You might be able to. And hanging things. <laughs> hooks. Hanging hooks. A spade. shears so bring this back in and we're going to put this on dimensionals now because I've got the strips I am going to just place one of these on it right across the middle Just need to cut off a small piece, which you can see at the end. All right, peel this off. And we're going to place this just there. Now, our uh, oh no, these right, I've got to glue these little black pieces on. So, what I'm doing is gluing the square bit and gluing it on there. I'm going to glue this one on, and that's going to be at this end. And the other two, I will glue on them when I put it put these on. So these, obviously, on dimensionals. Now, what I'm going to do with these is place. A normal dimensional and then a strip on the handle and then that will sit on there like that this half piece I will not waste it and I'll just sit it down there because that's going to sit like that there. So 
if I don't need any across the top. I just need some down the sides. Cut that in half. This I'm actually going to glue onto the ladder itself and I know it's in the right place. And then glue the whole ladder onto here. I should have lifted these off, never mind. on as well. Right, the rake. This goes up that way with that hanging underneath. Yeah, like that. Let's pop a bit of glue on there. and pop a bit of dimensional strip on the handle Put it too close to the edge then. Right, and I'm also going to put some across the top. This is a bit fiddly. But you get there in the end. And which just leaves these shears and they just need a miniature mini dimensional there. bit of glue on there and pop them there and that is our tools on get them out of the way right now we just have to Pardon me, sorry about that. 
uh, can't see the lid for this glue amongst all the junk and it's not where I thought it was. Decent uh, piece of basic black, then. Right now for the sentiment, which I never got out, did I? I did, but I can't see it. Found it. Right. To the man who can do anything. And that is just going to sit there. Not very straight. That's better. Again, up on dimensionals. Let's just do a strip. Might as well use my last one. And that is this card done. Hope you like it. You can't. I don't know if you can see it very well with the light. Different stones, only because the piece I had left I cut the wrong way and it would have ended up with the stones going the wrong way. So I had to use the different stone. But it still worked out the same. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, usually a Monday and a Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.